a Sleeping Beauty. You want to wake up, Sleeping Beauty? Hey. It's pretty outside. You want to wake up? You want to show everybody where we slept last night? She's like, no, Dad, I'm good to just hang out in bed. No. All right. Go show everybody where we slept. Go. Go show everybody. Oh, big stretch. And Ryan back down again. Tell you what. Daddy will move his feet. And then he'll show everybody your view right now. Ready? Oh yeah, from the side door of the house. I don't know if you guys noticed, but none of these were bloomed in yesterday's video. Not a single one of them. I woke up this morning to all this color just freshly bloomed. What a good start to a day. at the Leisure Center in Powell River, don't go have a shower there. They don't have a shower price and the actual cost to get into the Leisure Center is like $6.50, which is crazy. So unless you're using the rest of the facilities, not even worth it. I showered here today because I haven't showered in three freaking days and I needed it. I was just gonna go jump in the lake and just do it full el natural, but I didn't. I had a semi-warm shower. The shower wasn't even warm this morning. But um, I spoke to a lady on the way out and she let me know that there's coin showers down at the harbor. I should have looked there first because I was close to the harbor this morning. There's one thing in Powell River that you just can't miss and that's this huge plant that's over here. I don't care about the plant that's there. I'm not into the industrial side of things. But what intrigues me is what looks like the older plants that are all down here. There's like an old powerhouse and a bunch of old buildings and the cool thing is, is out on the water there is a handful of looks like old cargo ships that are like all broken down in the water and oh, I just want to go swim up there and check them out. But uh, all this side of the plant all looks like it's fairly new or been redone over the last, I don't know, couple decades I guess. But these ones over here look like original like 1900s kind of style. That's where we're going. I'm standing up on the back of my van. That is a huge, I don't know what it is, but that's a massive, huge, round, looks like a fat swimming pool with a blender that spins in the middle. I don't know what that is, so if anybody knows what this is, let me know. 
but yeah it's got this huge i'll zoom in in a second but it's got this huge like motor in the middle and this fat huge blade that blade is probably 200 feet long on each side and it looks like it just stirs whatever would be in there i want to go but there's too much barbed wire around here if there was a section without it i would be in there right now <laughs> So I'm going to zoom in and see if we can get a somewhat of a shot of this. Yeah, that was freaking cool. Oh, I want in there so bad. I don't just just don't trust myself getting getting stuck. And we're quite a ways on the other side. Nobody even see me come up here. It's like some weird, bumpy, creepy road that goes into nowhere. The main plant is way over there, and this is super cool. I love places like this where you can come in and just kind of adventure around in the older areas. It's like driving through history. Freaking cool. There's probably 10 of them, but we can only see so many from here. I'm gonna get out of here because this is a no trespassing zone, but hey man, I had to come down here and get that shot. That's called shooting a YouTube video El Gorilla style. <laughs> Those ships are so freaking cool. And you know how many people don't get those shots because nobody's got the uh, to just roll down there and get them? But that's how those things make it online is you get people like me that are willing to take that risk, drive somewhere I shouldn't, there's no trespassing, <laughs> but that's okay. I had some guy that looked official wearing a safety vest, driving a truck, drove by me, and he waved while I was down there. All good. All right, this is freaking cool. In 1930, the Powell River Pulp and Paper Mill Company, which is that one, took possession of some old World War I and II ships that were made out of primarily concrete. What? <laughs> um, they took those concrete ships out of commission a long time ago because they couldn't compete with the um, cargo capacity of the lighter steel ships. So a lot of those ones were decommissioned. And then places like these guys here took possession of these concrete ships and placed them out there on the water just like that as a breakwater. So what, what it is here is the water is really deep here. That's why these ones are still floating. I guess from what this says, a lot of places that have bought these old ships have sunk the ships in the water. So only the top sections stick out. But because the water here in Powell River is so freaking deep, they've left them floating. But yeah, there's 10 ships left and they've called them the Hulks. Super freaking cool. I will try and leave the Wikipedia link down here, the Wiki Wiki Wikipedia link to um, this stuff if you guys want to check out more information on it. But super rad.
This is like, ow, ow, barnacles, ow, ow, crap, ow, crap, barnacles, ouch, ouch, dad, ouch, ouch. Dad, that hurts my feet, dad. Come here, buddy, there's sand in here, come here. Come here, bud, there's sand right here. Come on. I promise you, it'll feel way better on the feet when you get to the sandy part. There you go. Ah, ah, ah. Doesn't that feel nice on the feet? In the sandy part. This is going to be a bit tough to see in the video, but not this rock piece here, but the island that's behind it, that's Texada Island. And it's kind of cool because I first had to take a double take. I'm like, is that snow on those super low mountains? And it's not. I guess Texada Island is covered in limestone, so they're doing lots of mining and stuff over there, but it looks freaking pretty cool. Today we're going to be heading back to catch the ferry to go back over to the Sunshine Coast because we're running out of time on this trip. I only got a few days left to enjoy. Sorry, my phone died so I had to come back and charge it up a little bit. I'm right beside the main road. The cool thing about the ferries on this trip is they're super cheap. Ferry number one was $60. Ferry number two, totally free. The ferry that I'm about to take right now is $44, yeah. And then the ferry to go back to Vancouver, totally free. Pretty damn sweet. So from Vancouver to the Sunshine Coast, 60 bucks. From the Sunshine Coast over to Powell River, zero. Powell River back to the Sunshine Coast, $44. Is this making any sense? And then because I paid to go to the Sunshine Coast to go back to Vancouver, is free. Sweet. Okay, let's go catch the ferry. pulled into the ferry terminal and the cost for this ferry was $56. I don't know where I got the other number from, but it was 56 bucks. But that's okay, because Disco got some treats. The guy from the ferry gave you some treats, bro. <laughs> Sit down, sit down, sit, 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 sit down. Go be sitting there and be a piggy. We give you one more, eh? That looks like a great place to dry out your underwear. Yeah, girl. Pretty excited for this ferry ride because we missed all the views because when we came over it was dark out so I'm super pumped about this. Check out this picture perfect moment. We just got here into Pender Harbor. You guys have seen this before in a video. This is the Garden Bay area. There's like five or six lakes down here, plus nothing but ocean when you drive to the end. This whole area is freaking breathtaking. So when you guys are out touring around, you gotta drive down this street because this street opens up into a whole world of water paradise. Anyway guys, this is the point in the video where I get to shut this off and go enjoy this 
for myself. So thanks for watching today's video. Hope you enjoyed Powell River. Those ships and stuff were just, oh, that made my morning this morning so great. I'll see you guys in another video. I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Until then, you guys stay beautiful, be weird. Don't ever, 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 ever be normal. Because normal, guys, it just sucks. Thank you.